Welcome to Blender Jewelry Design with Damien. Let's get started. Erase the light so we can see clearly. Select the cube, go to edit mode. Alt A, Alt Z, B. Select this, delete vertices. Exit edit mode. Modifiers and modifier array. Well, times is a count. Duplicate the modifier, but now let's go on the Y axis to like this. Do an Alt C, go to edit mode A, merge by distance. Don't forget to save the scene, modern gemstone here. Exit edit mode, objects and origin to geometry. And menu, everybody at zero. Rotate 45 degrees, call this oak, just like this. Add modifier, simple form, band. L, A, empty, plane axis. Go to Z axis, origin, empty. Take the empty, rotation on the Z axis, 90 degrees. Go back to the mesh. Modifiers, go negative, minus 62, enter. Duplicate the modifier, now band on the Z axis, like this. Say, LZ. Now, top view, add mesh, plane, and make it size 8.5, enter. Go to edit mode. Subdivide one, two, three times. Alt A, B, select the interior. Delete vertices. Now select all the vertices, but not the corners. Scale 1.05. Now, C selector with shift. Remove the next corners like this. Escape. Scale 1.035. Enter. C, remove the next corners with shift like this. Escape. Scale 1.02 like this. Next step, C, shift. Just one vertex left. Escape. Scale 1.005. Enter A to select everybody. F to complete the face. Move up a bit. Extrude on the Z axis like this. Exit edit mode. Save. Now F2. Now F2 call this tubular. Make a copy. Shift D. Hide the original. I modifier. Boolean. Fast intersection with the poke. Hide the poke. This is go to edit mode. W. Alt Z. Alt A. C. Select the corners. Make the corners smaller to make them rounder. Just like this. Exit edit mode. Alt Z. Alt C. This is now the mesh. Do an S Z to make the effect stronger. Just like this. Now go to edit mode. Now move up a bit like this. Now go to modifiers. Add mirror. Find the correct axis based on the empty. Now it's the Y axis like this. Select the borders with control all around. Just like this. Do the same with bottom side. Shift for the first one. Control for the next ones. Go to edge. Bridge edge loops. Let's do an S Z to reduce the thickness of the fillet. Set the size to ten and the thickness to three. Control A. All transforms. Exit edit mode. Call this modern cut. Save and be happy. Check your work. Looks good. Be happy. The gemstone is done. We can now proceed to create a ring. Now, in the first video, we made a diamond. File the pen. Go get that diamond. Now, make its size 1.5. Copy paste the proportion. Now, select the main gemstone. Shift G. Bring it lower as a copy. Save. Go to edit mode. And G select B. Select the top delete vertices. A, S, Z, 0 to put them on the same level. That's the edge of the gemstone. This is the very practical trick. Make it a bit bigger like this. Now, select the diamond. Put it close, but not too close as we need a border. Select the border. Go to edit mode. Extrude. Click S. Make a slight edge. Extrude on the Z axis. Bring it lower like this. Top view. Extrude. Click. Scale. Go a bit further than the diamond. Extrude on the Z axis. Somewhere here. Top view. Extrude. Click S. Make another small border like this. Now, do an Alt Z, X rays C selection, just the inside. Extrude on the Z axis, somewhere there. Front view, B, select the ground, SZ0 to bring it to the same height. Now, do a bridge edge loops, just like this. Side view, Alt Z, Alt A, B, select the top, do an SZ0 to level the height. A, select everything, mesh normals outside. Everybody looks good, be happy. Exit edit mode, Alt A, save. Now, select the gemstone. Front view, Alt Z. Rotate it 15 degrees. Take the halo. Go to edit mode. Top view, Alt A, C. Select the inside borders and move on the Z axis. Make it parallel to the gemstone, like this. Edit mode. Now, before doing more, put this gemstone to the center. Everything at zero degree. Now here, materials. Create the material. Call it that. Take the halo. New material. Rose gold. Take the diamond. Go to edit mode. Top view. Alt A. A. Shift S. Pressure to select it. Alt A. Add circle. Make it at 60 vertices. Now, scale it at the size of the gemstone. Go lower than the gemstone. Extrude on the Z axis. F to close it. Side view. Alt A. B. Select this level. Extrude on the Z axis. Scale to follow the gemstone, but don't touch it. Like this will be fine. E on the Z axis. Move. Like here will be fine. Extrude on the Z axis. Here. Scale. With more. E on the Z axis. Like this. F L to select the cutter. Mesh. Normals. Also, add a material, new material, call it cutter. Assign the material to the cutter. Now, hide it with H. Top view, select this vertex. Shift S, cursor to select. Add sphere, radius, 0.2, location, 0.6. P, selection. This will be rose gold. Object shade, 
smooth and my fire mirror based on the gemstone X and Y. Alt C, side view, edit mode, Alt Z, B, big. This level, move it to the ground like this. Exit edit mode. Select the gems, control J. That's the diamond with the cutter and the prong. Now, move into position, rotate 15 degrees. The prongs inside the borders, the gemstone inside the borders. Save and be happy. Now, we're going to make the settings of the halo. Add mirror on X and Y based on the main gemstone. Start adapting the position here. Shift D. Now, move, rotate 90 degrees on Z. Adapt the position here. Shift D. Adapt the position. Rotate slightly on the Z axis now and then. Shift D. Repeat. Adapt. Shift D. Repeat. Adapt. Shift D. Repeat. Adapt. One last time. Shift D. Adapt the rotation. This one is 45 degrees. Check your distances and make them even. Let's go to edit mode. Alt Z. Alt A. L. L. Delete. Vertices. Exit edit mode. Now, take all the diamonds we've just made. Make an Alt C. Control J. Call them Halo diamonds. Say now select the halo local view add bevel check the amount and segments add subdivision surface level two option shades move go back to global view select the halo cutters go to edit mode alt h to reveal the cutters and the cutters only P selection to extract the cutters. Select the cutters, F2, pull them. Cutters, pull things by their name. Select the halo, add leaf, fast difference from the cutters. Local view, go to object data, normals, auto -suit. Go to global view, select the cutters, hide and remove from render like this. Save and be happy. Now select the main gemstone, run view, adapt its position. Send view, add curve, bezier, edit mode, make the shape of the prong. Object data, resolution 45, auto curve, top view, there, add curve, bezier, circle, center it on the x axis. Edit, move this vertex a bit up here. Take this one, scale it, this small pyramid shape. Now, the curve we've just made, put it at zero on the y axis. Go to object data, geometry, bevel, object, the circle we just made, fill caps. Go to edit mode, A, adapt the mean tilt. Mine is minus 90 degrees. Exit edit mode, top view. We need a tapper curve. Add curve, bezier. Take the prompt, tapper, select the curve. We just added. Take the curve, go to edit mode, the y axis position to adapt. The thickness of the prong. Adapt, adapt, adapt. Move it a bit to the side. Modifier mirror based on the gemstone. Make the prong looks double good. Now call it off. Shift D, make a copy, hide the original. Alt C, Control A, all transforms. Now, go to edit mode, A, adapt the position, exit edit mode, rotate 45 degrees. Go to edit mode, A, task C. This is perfect. Exit edit mode, add modifier, mirror, based on the main gemstone, X and Y. Don't forget to assign the rose gold material. Here we are. Save and be happy. Now, full view, add mesh circle to the view. Vertices 120, location 0, radius 15.7 divided by 2. This is an American size of 5. Enter. Now, select what we've done so far. Front view, adapt the Z position somewhere here. Now, we need a base, supports, and a ring. Select the halo, shift D, lower it, save, go to edit mode. Alt Z, Alt A, B. Remove the top, delete vertices. We have this interior. A, scale, go at 62%. Make an E, click, scale, make the border to the inside. Thickness, extrude on the Z axis. Raise a bit, scale a bit. Exit edit mode. Select the circle, copy it, go to edit mode. Everybody is already selected. Alt Z, extrude, create some thickness. A, move it to this side, extrude to the other side. A, mesh normals to the outside. Exit edit mode. Now go to modifiers, add, clear, intersection, fast with the base. Hide this element, remove it from rendering. Now this is the base, hold it base. Now add, bevel, make a subdivision surface, add, remesh, shade smooth. Modifier, smooth, works. The voxel and the remeshing. Go to decimate, check the face count. It's much too high. Go at point one on decimate. Wait for the mathematics to work. It's done. Apply. Wait again for the mathematics to work. Done. Save and be happy. Now we need a ring. Front view. Take the main circle. Call it render sides. Shift D. Copy it. Click. Call it ring shank. Go to edit mode. A. Extrude. Click S. Make E bigger. Now move it up somewhere here. A, select everybody. Move outside. Extrude to the other side, like there. A, mesh, normals to the outside. Exit edit mode. Material, rose gold. Save and be happy. Now, hide this for a second. H, go to the halo. Sub view. Take the diamonds. Go to edit mode. Alt A. L, 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 L. Extract the prongs and one diamond. Shift D, P, selection. Take what we extracted. Move it somewhere here. Don't forget the cutter. Go to the cutters. L, shift D. Click T to extract that cutter. You have the cutter. Select the gemstone. Control J. Now, these will be called side diamonds. Let's adapt a bit the position here. Go back to the shank. Side view. Now, add mesh plane to the view. Move it to the outside. Side view. Edit mode. Alt Z, Alt A, E. Remove those vertices. 
go down here. This will be the width of the shank. Select this vertex. Extrude, 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 somewhere here. A. Extrude on the Y axis. There. A. Extrude to the other side. A. Mesh normals. Recalculate. Out. Exit it. Ignore. Modifiers. Bevel. Modifier. Subdivision surface. Three levels. Modifier. Mirror. Based on the main gemstone. Based on the main gemstone. On the Y axis only. Call these big cutters. Say, Take the shank. Add modifier. Bevel. Past difference from the big cutters. Have a look at the shape. Now, we're slightly going to adapt the position of this gemstone, especially for the thickness of the shank and the next cut that we're going to do. Now, this gemstone can have a mirror based on the shank, X, and Y, or it depends your case. Save and be happy. Now, show the big cutters, select them, shift D, make a copy, hide the other ones, and remove them from render. Go to edit mode, side view, Alt Z, Alt A, C, select, delete, select the underside, delete. We have this. Now, select everybody, A, grab, come somewhere here, adapt the positions. Now, erase the first modifier. Just keep the mirror on the Y axis. Activate the clipping. Do an extrusion on the Y axis to the left, like this. Now, select everybody A. Extrude on the X axis, like this. Exit edit mode. Now, do a remesh. Lower the voxel if needed, 005. Take the shank, add modifier, Boolean. Fast difference from this new big cutter. Hide the cutter. Don't forget to check the normal auto smooth. Save and be happy. Now, let's get ready for the next cover. Run the view. Add mesh plane to the view. Bring it outside. Run view. Grab and Alt A, Alt Z. Remove those vertices. Delete. Grab, grab, extrude, 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 extrude. Adapt the angles and position like this. Now select everything. Move on the Y axis like this. Exit edit mode. Modifiers mirror based on the main gemstone like this. Alt C, edit mode. Alt A, edge, rigid juice. Exit edit mode. Add bevel modifier subdivision. Two levels. To the shank. And modifier boolean fast difference from that cutter. Take that mesh and call it a render three. Hide it and remove it from render as the other cutters. Take the finger size, shift D, hold this, cutter 4, and move. select everything, scale, here, extrude, in place, scale, here, adapt the position, there, now, B, select the lower part, here, delete, vertices, check the thickness, here and there, now, down, the endings, select these vertices, S, X, space, select this, F, same on the other side, select, F, A, move outside, extrude to the right, here, exit edit mode, check the normals, take the shank, add, lean, fast, difference from the cutter number 4, hide, save, and be happy. Now, we need some space for the gemstones, go to the side, add, mesh, plane, to the view, move to the outside, add, modifier, shrink, wrap, project, X, to the shank, like this, negative or positive, depending on what works for you, good side view, and more. Start adapting. Extrude, 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 and extrude as many times as needed. Adapt the distances. Extrude, extrude, extrude. Exit edit mode. Save. Modifier. Sided by offset zero, thickness 0.5, or whatever works for you. Maybe 0.7. Add modifier. Mirror. X, Y axis based on the main stone. Add the bevel modifier. Add the subdivision surface. Make a copy. Hide the originals. Make an odd C. Take the shank. Add a Boolean modifier. Fast. Remove the side cutters. Like this. Check the cut. That's the space for the gemstones. Save and be happy. Now, let's work with the gemstone. Here, remove the rotations. Now, go to magnet. Faces. Center. Move. Activate it. Activate the snap. Now, let's start positioning our gemstone. Shift D. Adapt. Shift D. Setting the stones. Shift D. Rotate if necessary. Shift D. Shift D. Shift D. Shift D. This is the last one. There are not that many. You don't need more technology to do this. You just need your skills and your brain. And also, to be happy. So, be happy and set the stones. Select all the diamonds. Control J. Go to edit. Alt A. Go to materials. Select cutters. P. Selection. Now, make a shape. No. Add. Only in. Modify. Difference fast from the cutters. Look at the beauty happening. Save and be happy. Let's find the original prong. With that, we're going to create decorations. So, copy it again. Move it. Hold this. Decoration 1. Side view. Edit mode A. G. Adapt the vertices and their positions. Adapt to the corners. Adapt the tilt. Go to object name. The tapper radius. Make it multiply. Now, you can play with the radius to make this thicker or as needed. Check every side of the design. Adapt. Now, Add the mirror modifier based on the main gemstone X and Y. So I'm going to take everybody A, Shift D. Now I have a new decoration that you can adapt to my design. Don't forget to play with the tilt like this. Side view. Keep adapting the design. I'm going to go on and add more decorations. Now, this is the ring for levers. We want to add the heart. So you are going to need a third vertex to make these subdivide. Now, check that you are inside the middle. Keep adapting, and very soon you'll have a very pretty looking heart. Save. And be happy. Side view. Shift D. Start adapting the design. Check the position on the side. Check the balance of the curvatures and check the entire design. You like the design? Exit edit mode. Alt A. Save. Take the finger size. Copy it. Edit mode. A boolean of the finger size to cut the decorations. And be happy. Now the modeling is done. We still have to do 
fantastic render of this jewel. Stay tuned, coming to you in a few seconds. Don't forget, save and save as. Make the render file. This is for us better. Make them meshes. Join geometry, control J. Hold this all the ring for render. Now here, just keep the material diamonds. Go to viewport display, give them a slate blue. Check the main stone, new material. Now here, this will be the pink. This will be rose gold, slightly rose gold. Now you can erase all the rest, but the camera. We're not even at 1 million, this is amazing. Very good, remove statistics. Take the ring, go to edit mode. Take the lower vertices, do shift S, cursor to select it, exit edit mode. Objects are reaching to 3D cursor. Now and send everything to zero and set it on the ground. Let's add a plate, make it size 150. At zero, now let's prepare the camera angle. Select your favorite view, I'll control zero for the camera. Go to environment, texture, open. Now, now let's go to your textures and select your favorite HDR. Now let's go to render properties. Light path at 48 for everybody. Let's make a render preview. All right, let's go to shading and let's start making the materials. Now the gold. So we have rose gold. Add input, damage fusion, color place color, color, rose gold. So metallic one, darkness 0 0.05. We need some bevel. We need first holes normal to normal, radius 0.2. Yeah, we want some scratches. Add texture image to the normal. If you're not using a normal map, add the bump node right here. Then let's go to height instead of normal and Let's open your favorite scratches image input texture coordinates coordinates generated to a vector add the vector map let's do it box let's do it cubic two better three let's go out window okay here let's rotate 45 degrees 30 degrees and 20 degrees okay just straight point there one rose gold is approved the floor new material here roughness of one full white Today we'll use a shadow catcher to make a perfect white background. All right, now the gemstones. Pink top has an index of 1.64, transmission 1, roughness 0, spectral 1, spectral 2.5. Now the color, a pretty nice pink here. Save from now and then, don't forget to be happy. Mesh, shading, flat faces. Now the diamonds, the diamonds. Spectral 1, roughness 0, IOR 2.18, transmission 1. Exactly, let's add the light, especially for the top of the solid gold power way too strong. Use nodes, yes, strength 20. Okay, size, size is with three. Don't forget to rotate your arrow light in the correct direction. So the strength. Now let's bring it back to something normal. Now we need some light on the right side. We're going to do a couple of things right here. So let's go to render settings properties here. Film. Let's go film transparent. Floor, visibility of the floor in the object properties is going to be a shadow catcher. Okay, like this. Let's go to compositing, view node. Let's add a viewer node here, image, image. Now let's add an alpha over, say here, it's one there. Okay, and we're going to go at full point. With this, let's go to F12. Let's make a red ring. So obviously we need to find the correct form. If you have this, invert it, and that's it. So here we can see that this is not full white. This is 97%. So here it's about color management. And instead of film it, we're going to work with standard. But obviously it means that we need to work on the RTP of the HDR of the gemstones. Rose gold, we need to work on the saturation of the entire scene. Pink top ads with less saturation and less saturation of the rose gold and a bit darker. Let's take the ring, the view, copy the ring, that basically accurate balanced position. It's pretty nice. The rendering is always the judge. Great, now for the final render, let's go at sample 620. Render resolution 200%. Let's do at least a 4K. Let's go. Final renderer. This won't impress much the queen. She has some of the best jewels in the world. But anyway, you can never have enough jewels. This is how we do it. So let's impress the queen. Subscribe, buy my assets, become members, send me comments, send me emails. Take care. See you soon.